Hey sir, I have no food. Here's some food. This is all we have. This is what will happen if food security is not ensured. It encompasses four aspects which are availability, access, stability and utilization. It's very important for the welfare of a country including the people's social life and its economic and political state. But what are we doing about it now? In the biology field, Gene editing. When we finally replace certain functions of a DNA by editing its nucleotides to achieve a desired or improved function. In our modern world right now, the global fish consumption per capita rises above 20 kilograms per year due to the skyrocketing demand of fish nowadays. Gene editing comes in very handy here. For instance, the genome edited tilapia line FLT01 demonstrates a 70% improvement in fillet yield, 16% improvement in growth rate and 14% improvement in feed conversion ratio. This way, we can ensure a stable supply of fish, namely tilapia, which is one of the most widely consumed fish in the whole wide world, to ensure food security. In the physics field, since radiation has been discovered in 1896 by Henry Becquerel, we have been able to harness the energy of an atom to safely preserve our food. Using high energy rays such as gamma rays and X rays, we are able to preserve our food by damaging the DNA of microorganisms. This prevents the microorganisms from reproducing and prevents dangerous diseases such as E. coli and salmonella. Besides that, irradiation also improves juice yields, inhibits sprouting and delays fruit ripening. Not only that, meat that has been treated with radiation can be safely packaged and transported to all four corners of the globe, ensuring food security. Wait Kyler, isn't radioactive food dangerous? Hmm. No, you silly goose. There is a difference between irradiated food and radioactive food. Radioactive food is food that emits the radiation, while irradiated food is food that has been treated with radiation. Thus, irradiated food is not dangerous. In the chemistry field. Here, I'm a biscuit. Mm. Thanks, Baba. Hmm. I wonder how food packaging is related to the food security. Good food packaging preserves the safety and quality of food, protects food from breakage during transport, guarantees a stable and secure supply of food to consumers, and protects food from environmental effects such as humidity and temperature changes. One crucial way to produce good food packaging is through nanotechnology. Nanoparticles possess antimicrobial activity, oxygen scavenging ability, and other properties that makes it suitable for it to be made into nanocomposites. Nanocomposites are used in food packaging to enhance the physical and mechanical strength of food packaging, such as strength, durability, flexibility, UV impermeability, and thermal resistivity. These enhances the shelf life of food products and enables a stable supply of food products to consumers by ensuring food safety, food quality, and food security. In the mathematics field, food security, let's do the math. Based on the four dimensions of food security, which is access, availability, stability, and utilization, Malaysia came in the 41st place in the Global Food Security Initiative. Considering that Malaysia has 8 million hectares of land, only 8% of that land is used to produce agrofood due to the high production costs. Due to this, Malaysia has the need to import food products and agrofood from other countries such as Thailand and Vietnam. Due to the high import costs, the selling price of food in Malaysia is relatively high and this lowers the purchasing power of Malaysians towards food and hence causes food insecurity. These mathematical data are used in statistics to track food access across households. Therefore, it can be integrated into food security and financial related programs to help these households get an adequate food supply. It also can be integrated into modern technology such as weather forecasts, artificial intelligence and food preservation to maintain a constant supply of food. All in all, scientific developments allow millions across the world to not go hungry every night. Therefore, we must continue with the scientific developments to ensure food arrives on everyone's tables safely, securely, and sufficiently. Bye! Bye. Thank, Thank you! you.